Welcome to Live Devotions. I'm Robert Mosbach. Thanks for joining me today. You know, when we're living in an economically challenging time today in the world, then sometimes we all get confronted concerning our own welfare. And I believe it is so important at times like this that we remind ourselves that God is our source. Abraham discovered this in his life that God sees what we need and he provides. Jesus himself says he, that God would meet our needs. The apostles themselves went through things that they said he will meet all your needs. So in other words, we all have these times in life when we need to see God meet our needs. That's not a sign that there's something wrong with you. David, one of his most famous Psalms is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he saw that God was the one that cared for him and took care of him so that when he had a need, he could look to him for the provision. So when you have needs, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Sometimes you can look back at yourself and know, okay, maybe we shouldn't have spent that or maybe we should have better put the money away. And, and while those things are true that we can learn how to become better stewards, I believe that no matter what the circumstances are, God will help you. I think one of the uh, prophet's wives came to, I believe, the prophet Elijah and said to him, my husband has passed away and left us with a great debt. And now I'm concerned that they will come for my sons and take them as slaves. And the prophets asked her, what do you have in your home? She said, all I have is a small veil with a little bit of olive oil. The prophet had an idea, an idea of faith, an idea of God. He said to her, go get all the vessels you can get from all your neighbors and friends. Let your children help you with this. and Bring them into your home and close the door and start filling those vessels. That was a real act of faith for this woman to do that. The little vessels she had was very small. How much faith did she have? Did she have faith enough for maybe two small pots? Or This woman had such big faith because she got every vessel that she can find. And she started to use her little bit of veil and pour into these vessels and the oil never stopped. What a phenomenal miracle took place of provision. She filled up all the vessels and the prophet had said, when you have filled up all the vessels, the oil will stop sell all of that oil, pay off all the debt, and live off the rest. How much faith do you have today to take the little that you've got and see God multiply it? It's no different than the boy with a few loaves and fishes. All he had was just a few loaves and a few fishes. But the need that was there was phenomenal. Just men were 5,000, besides all the women and children. There could have easily been 10 to 15,000 people there. How can three loaves and a few fishes meet that need? And, but friends, if we give what we've got into God's hands, then he's able to multiply it. That boy gave the little he had, and the Jesus took it in his hands and he broke it, and it multiplied. It multiplied to the degree that there were baskets left over in the end after everybody had ate their fill. Not a little ration that everybody just got a little. No, everybody ate their fill. What am I saying to you? I believe sometimes when we don't know what to do and we really need provision, God would like to give us an abundance just so that he can show to us that he's a good God and that he is the source of our supply. And while he wants us to learn how to become good stewards and how to be wise concerning what we have, at the same time, he wants us never to forget that his resources will never go empty, that his supply will always will be there for us, and that if we trust him, then we will see the overflow. There are too many stories in the Bible when it comes to this, where we see God meet the needs of God's people. You see Israel in the desert, there were some two million people right there in the desert. They had no water to drink. And God caused a rock to burst forth with water so that a river came out. They didn't only feed themselves, but they fed their animals. 
And then they were hungry for, for meat. And Moses, the great man of God that had seen all the miracles of God's provision, said, Lord, are there birds enough in the air? Is there cattle enough on the earth? Are there fish enough in the sea to take care of these people? And the Lord said to Moses, Moses, they're going to eat meat, not just for one day, but for a whole month, every day. And now you will know that I can do what I say. And the Bible says that little quails, which they taste like chicken, they're little bitty birds, came around the camp and they were just flapping above the ground about a foot. And people could just run out there and grab them. God is able to bring his supply to our lives in such a miraculous way that he doesn't leave any question that he's the source of it, that he'll take care of us. I want to encourage you today Put your faith in God. Even if you've made some decisions in your financial spending that weren't best, don't let that rob you from your faith and expectation that your Father is good and He'll take care of you. But believe God. He'll take care of you. I mean, what about the prodigal son? The word prodigal means wasteful. He had wasted all his father's wealth. He had lived in a way that he shouldn't have lived. When he came home, his father didn't punish him. His father embraced him. His father, in the middle of a famine, had a feast and rejoiced. Gave him a new set of clothing and a ring on his finger, new shoes, to celebrate that while his son had gone the wrong direction, he'd come back home. I want to encourage you. Believe that as you put your trust in God, that he will meet your needs and that he will cause you to prosper, that his power will come upon you and he will give you wealth.